So with the season coming to a close and some players really needing some massive points to end the season and maybe qualify for the ATP Finals, we've got two big events next week. One in Vienna, which is an ATP 500 event. So it's a massive names playing some crazy first rounds, but let's go have a look at who's not going to be playing. So only a couple of players have pulled out of this one. Berrettini, he's pulled out. Grigno Buster and Chorich have all pulled out with injuries. So not too many contenders there. Of course, Berrettini at his best could be a contender, but these guys have been injured for a while. And we might not see them for the rest of the year. So let's start at the top of the draw. We've got eight seeds in this one and nobody gets a buy in the first round. Medvedev, the number one seed. He takes on Feast in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Dimitrov or Musetti in the second round. So already a crazy start to this tournament. Then you got Wolf versus Lehechko. Winner of that takes on either Safulin or the number eight seed Hashinov in the second round. So an interesting little section here. And the amount of unseated players that are so scary. I mean, Dimitrov, he's been in some good form lately. Just beat Elkaraz in Shanghai. Safulin also been in some form. Same with Lehechka. So it's been a really fun time for those guys. But also, Feast in the first round for Medi. That's crazy because Feast is playing well this week. Next part of the draw, you've got one of the craziest first rounds. Number four seed, Sidzi Bass taking on Dominic Team in the first round. I mean, that's just that's just cruel. I mean, that's, that's not fair. It's great for us, though, if you're a tennis fan, but not great for those guys. Winner of that will take on either Vukic or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Karatev taking on Goyo. Winner of that will take on either another qualifier or the number six seed, Paul, in the second round. And Karatev just played well last week in Tokyo, so he's going to have a quick turnaround coming over to Europe after playing well there. But of course, Sitsipas team, that is the first round match of this section. And maybe keep an eye out for Tommy Paul in this section, especially if team does get the upset against Steph. Next section of the draw now, you've got Zverev, the number five seed, taking on Ovna. Winner of that will take on either Nori or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got another qualifier taking on Alnaudi. Winner of that will take on either Poprin or the number three seed, Rublev, in the second round. Poprin's been in form. Rublev trying to qualify for the ADB finals. Zverev is also in that same boat with Rublev and Ovna's been in form. So this section could be really wild, especially because recently Zverev has not been good. There's guys like Nori and Alnaudi as well. Very dangerous unseated players. Then the bottom section of the draw, which might be the craziest section. Starting with the number seven seed, Tiafo taking on Evans. Winner of that will take on either Monfils or Altmaier in the second round. Then you've got McDonald taking on Sarundalo. Winner of that will take on either Ben Shelton or the number two seed, Sinner. They just played in Shanghai. It was an epic. I mean, that match is almost as exciting as Team versus City Pass in the first round. They've got Sarundalo, Monfils, both unseated. Very dangerous. McDonald can beat anybody. So can Evans. So this section is really wild and could really produce some crazy results. Of course, Sinner has qualified for the ADB Finals, but Tiafo still in the hunt. Even Shelton, after a good week in Tokyo, he might even be able to somehow qualify if he has some crazy results. But man, what a crazy tournament this is going to be. So there it is, a crazy tournament in Vienna. Of course, Basel is also happening at the same time with the rest of the top 10 except for Djokovic and Elkres playing in that one. So a lot of players playing. And of course, there's only four spots up for grabs for the AGB finals. A lot of these guys playing this week are playing for those final spots. But who's going to win the event? You tell me, because Medvedev's played well here in the past. Sinner, here's a tough first round. Possibly the toughest road out of the top four seeds. Maybe Rublev can go one better than he did at Shanghai. Of course, he nearly did win Shanghai a couple of weeks ago, but it's going to be a crazy tournament. A lot of players trying to play for those final spots at the ADB finals.